So something kind of inconvenient just happened. On my to-do list of things that I had left to do today, I had water my plants, do laundry, and take a shower. And you know what just happened? My power went out. But I don't actually believe in inconveniences. I believe in signs. And the fact that I'm now stuck at home, I don't feel like leaving my house, but everything that I was supposed to do is unavailable to do. I think it's a very big sign that I need to deal with something that I've been putting off for a long time. And that is my stupid abundance of clothing. For those of you who've been around for a while, you probably already know this, but for those who don't know me, I moved to the city that I'm living in right now last August. And before that, I was living with my parents in my small-ish hometown. And my whole life, I've had a love of thrifting and clothing and just finding cool things. But when you live in a small town, it's kind of fine to have a problem with secondhand fashion in the thrift store because you're kind of limited in how much stuff you can find, you know? But when you move to a big city and there's a never-ending supply of cool things to find and you keep your same habits, you end up with a lot of stuff, especially when you dropped your good habit of decluttering your clothing like I have for the past year. That's right, I have not actually done a proper declutter of my closet in probably like a year. And you might be thinking, oh Gab, it must not be that bad. Like, it can't be that bad. Let me show you. It's actually like pretty bad. My house is filled with things. Materials I want to upcycle. Just random stuff on my bed. There's a dresser full of things. There's a closet full of clothes. There's, I mean, that's laundry, but there's stuff here. This I was supposed to get rid of like a year ago. More clothes in here. Things that I'm going to donate and get rid of. Stuff on my couch, stuff on the chair, and all of this stuff from like Goodwill bins or things that I have to flip or whatever. So yeah, I've got a lot of stuff and I feel like most of you will be able to relate that it just doesn't feel nice when you have so many things that don't have a home. You know, when things feel cluttered and it might not seem like it, but I really don't like that feeling. So let's make a game plan to fix that feeling. I looked it up online and it says that my power should be back in about two hours, which realistically this is gonna take more than two hours, but at least that's a good starting point. And my game plan is to do something that's gonna really, really stress me out because I feel like I need to stress myself out about this so that I'm very motivated to be very selective about what I keep. And the way I'm going to achieve stressing myself out is by basically doing a massive Marie Kondo. But since everything won't fit on my bed, I'm going to pile every single piece of clothing that I own, other than like socks and underwear, right here on my rug. Am I terrified? Yes. Is this necessary? Yes. Am I so happy that you're here to support me through this process? Yes. But enough procrastinating. Let's clear the premise. I need to move everything out of the way. This. Okay, and I think my rule is gonna be that I'm not allowed to put any clothes on the furniture. Because if I do that, I'm scared that I might end up leaving them there and get lazy. So everything needs to be on the floor and look super disorganized. I'm already so scared. Everything you own, Gabrielle. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Bags don't count. Are you all seeing how big this is? And that's not even everything yet. <sighs> Let's keep going. Okay, I've decided that I'm gonna leave this material stuff there. So we're gonna deal with that after. But let me show you this mountain of stuff. And there we have it in all of her glory, just for some perspective. This is me. This is my mountain of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. But you know what feels so nice? Having a clear closet, a clear bed, and more your closet. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort everything. I'm not gonna film it because I'm scared that my camera battery is gonna run out and then I won't be able to charge it because you know the power's out. But I will be back 
with any comments or if I don't have any comments once everything is sorted into categories. Wish me luck. And I forgot to mention, I feel like I'm gonna do the categories of like for sure and then like not so sure and the category of I'm fine getting rid of that. This is a for sure keep. Maybe I can put for sure keeps on the furniture. Okay, comment. I just realized that for the things that I'm bringing back into my closet, I need to make sure they fit the vibe and that I'm not just keeping them because I like the idea of them. So I've decided to bring my big mirror out and everything that I think I want to bring back into my closet, I'm trying it on to make sure I like it. I like this quilted silk jacket thing, which I do like, so we're keeping it. But anyways, just wanted to let you all know that I'm trying to make sure that everything I bring back into my wardrobe actually does make me feel like Wow, I just love this so much. It really shows who I'm trying to be, you know? So yeah, random update, but we are nowhere close to being done, as you can see. Okay, another update. What's this doing? My living room looks more like a disaster. But I promise we're getting somewhere. I've been slowly putting things into my closet. So right now we've got these coats that I know that I cannot live without and I won't be parting with. And then I'm also starting to lay things out on my bed, the things that I know for sure, for sure, I will keep. And something that I just wanted to mention, on top of trying things on when I wasn't sure about them, another thing I'm doing to kind of help me decide what to keep and what not to keep is I've pulled up what I think my seasonal color analysis is. I think I'm a soft autumn. So that's just gonna help me kind of decide when I'm going through my clothes if something is really not my color, then it gives me another reason to maybe think about not keeping it. Unless I'm super, super in love with it, but, but yeah, I would recommend looking up your seasonal color analysis because it really does help when you're deciding what to keep and what not to keep to like help you get your vibe going, you know? At least that's what I'm finding. Anyhow, I'm gonna keep plugging away. I'll see you for another update soon. Okay, we're really getting through it so far. This is the pile, this whole thing is the pile of things where I'm like, I'm not sure, slash, I'm okay getting rid of. So eventually I just have to go through this whole thing and see if it's the I'm not sure or if I should just get rid of it. This is our leftovers of things I still need to go through. These are all things I was already planning on getting rid of in the bags. Those are probably yes. Those are yeses. Kinda. But I'm hungry, so it's time for a snack break. I'm gonna have a banana and some peanut butter. Also, the power just got back on, so I need to go do my laundry. But I'm gonna have a snack and keep on chugging away. Let me actually show you my, um, before I have my snack, let me just show you what my bedroom's looking like with all the things I know I'm for sure keeping. You can totally tell that there are like certain colors that I gravitate towards, like browns, pinks, reds, very muted greens, gold, velvet and jeans. I think it's fair to say I really have been following my seasonal color analysis. I just wanted to mention that although it is kind of like energy sucking to go through all of your stuff, as soon as you walk into a room like my bedroom right now or look into a closet full of things that make you really really happy, it's actually really motivating and gets kind of really easy to pass along the things that you know aren't really doing it for you, you know? Like, it feels so good to walk in a room or look in a closet full of things that you really vibe with and that just really align with you, so. If me at the beginning of the video saying that I was going to be, like, super overwhelmed and really stressed out made you kind of want to avoid going through your own stuff, don't listen to Gabby then. Listen to Gabby now. Because I'm really happy that I'm doing this and it's honestly a little bit easier than I thought it would be. So yeah, I'm going to finish my snack and do those other things, but I'll see you later. Okay, so it's getting dark outside. And honestly, since the last time we spoke, it probably isn't going to look much different to you. Maybe slightly. Um, I started putting things in piles. So it's like slightly more organized chaos. But I think I'm just going to take a break from putting things in piles. And what I'm going to do now is put everything that I know I'm keeping for sure on hangers. And put it in my very empty closet. Because honestly, it's fine if like a couple of things are left in the living room. If I don't get around to everything tonight, which I probably won't. But I would like to be able to sleep in my bed, you know? So I think we're going to shift our priorities to clearing my bed off. And we're going to see because before I had things like layered on the same hanger. So I'm wondering if now that I've decluttered 
everything can have its own hanger. Because everything looks nicer when it has its own hanger. It's just when you have so much stuff and you have to save space, then you can't. But hopefully we have enough space now. Okay, so I would be lying if I said that this is the next day or even a couple days later because it's probably been like a week, maybe more. And I still have clothes in my living room just because I've been so busy and I found a job. And now I'm working 10 hour days, five days a week. So I'm a little more crunched for time. But let me show you where we're at with the decluttering process. So here are some clothes that I either need to sell or bring to Plato's closet or just like decide if I want to keep them or not. That is my new little pile of projects. This is a bag of clothes that I want to try and use RIT dye remover on. It's a lot of silks and rayons and stuff just because I like the clothes in there, but I don't necessarily like the colors. And these two piles here are clothes that I think that I like and I think I would regret getting rid of them, but maybe I just don't like them as much as the other things in my closet. And then these are just some jeans that I'm going through. I might sell some, might give some to some friends. I just have too many jeans. And here is the material that you saw a while ago that was in my room before for projects and stuff. I still need to kind of go through these a little bit more and see if they're worth keeping or not. But I don't really have anything on my couch anymore. I've already taken a couple of bags to the thrift store. So yeah, things are looking good. Just kind of plugging away when I have the time to. If any of you are interested and you want to see what I ended up keeping, let me know and maybe I could do a couple of videos of all the things that I ended up keeping. But I think that is the end of this video because I'm not going to get through these anytime soon. And I don't want to keep on dragging this video until I get around to doing these things, you know? Anyhow, here are a couple of videos I think that you would like. Thank you as always for spending this little chunk of your day with me or your night with me or your morning with me. I really appreciate it. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.